Welcome to this brief demonstration of PaxCam and Paxit imaging products for digital weld inspection. In any application, the key advantage of the Paxit imaging system is its unique ability to manage all aspects of your imaging workflow from start to finish. Images are stored in Paxit's electronic filing system, which marries a familiar explorer-style folder tree with a powerful relational database. Users can easily navigate to specific project folders to find images, or they may search the entire collection by their custom-made database fields. Many other file types, such as PDFs, spreadsheets, documents, and more, can also be stored in the Paxit database archive. The PaxCam microscope camera is launched within Paxit to capture directly to project folders in the database. Paxit's quick save settings determine what folder the images go to and what database information is saved with them. By displaying the image's database tag upon capture, we see the information that was entered while setting up the quick save before launching PaxCam. Fields are easy to tab through and can also be configured as drop-down menus to further simplify and quicken data entry. One simply fills in the other applicable fields, clicks OK, and on the next image capture, the additional data remains filled in. Users are left to fill in only the fields that vary from image to image, which is often reduced to just a few. Certain fields, such as inspection date, may be set to populate automatically in the Paxit preferences. Once captured into Paxit, images are ready to be measured. The most useful tool for cut and etch inspection is the measurement sequence. Rather than select different measurements from their icons in the ribbon, Users can instead order their measurements with custom titles in the save sequences, ensuring quick, reliable, and repeatable measurements from weld to weld. Instructions may be added for each measurement to assist operators during an inspection. Once saved, routines are selectable from the measurement sequence drop-down menu. When titled to match the drop-down entries of a designated database field, Sequences will load automatically. In this database, the matching field is weld type. By selecting lab joint and saving the change, Paxit knows to load the lab joint sequence when pressing the measurement sequence button. Once loaded, the sequence appears in a dialog box to identify the measurements being made. Paxit switches between the appropriate measurement tools for the user eliminating the time otherwise spent selecting tools in the ribbon. Measurements may be undone, redrawn, or skipped altogether if not applicable to the current sample. Calculations and tolerances may be configured to display real-time pass-fail results in the measurement totals window. By designating a common line title for material thickness measurements, in this example all lines named T, Paxit identifies the lowest value as T min, a common denominator used by most weld specifications to determine passing or failing measurements. The weld data section displays each measurement's ratio to T min as a percentage, which can then be assigned pass, fail, and borderline tolerances using Paxit's Tolerance Spec feature. Cells highlight green, red, or yellow to visually indicate the range in which they fall. Clicking the Pass Fail button puts a simple label on the image and also populates a database field with the result for easy search and retrieval later on. Links to email or network locations ensure quick communication between team members for the fastest resolution to urgent matters. Once measured, images are ready to be reported. With the click of a button, Paxit sends all relevant data to the most recently used Excel template for instant report generation. Reports containing more than one image are generated from within a Paxit folder. Simply select the images, choose the appropriate template, and all data goes over in the same fashion. Like other features shown in this video, report generation may be further automated 
by matching template names to the entries of a designated Paxit database field. In this example, by matching the template title to the entries in the part number field, users now simply select images, click the report button, and Paxit chooses the template. Synchronizing with the database in this fashion is a unique function of Paxit that further consolidates user workflow while reducing the chance of user error. Now that we know the principal parts used for cut and etch inspection, let's put them into action to demonstrate the intuitive, repeatable operator workflow that results. Launch PaxCam, capture an image, enter data, begin measuring, Evaluate your measurements. Finish measuring. Confirm pass or fail. Report. Complete. Maximizing the efficiency of cut and etch inspection in this fashion saves customers hours of time and production costs, making the PaxCam and Paxit imaging system one solution no lab can afford to be without. Contact MIS today to be connected with the appropriate representative for further information and quotation. Thank you.